One of the most important things to do in any high level system design round is to ask the right questions and not just the right questions but questions that cover the aspects of entire system. Now I know you might be able to deep dive only into few questions in a particular system design round but asking all of these questions gives your interview an idea that yeah you are capable of designing the entire system by yourself you do think of all the aspects of the system and that is what your interviewer is looking forward to so in today's video we'll discuss an extensive list of questions that are used while cracking the interviews of amazon uber atlassian and microsoft so this worked for me and hopefully it will work for you as well I understand that some of these questions might be less relevant for some systems and it might be extremely relevant for few systems but again having an extensive list makes sure that you are not missing any aspect of the system so let's get started The first and the most important thing to consider while designing any system is to understand who is your customer. Let me give you an example. Like while designing cab booking system, you should know whether you are designing the system from driver's perspective also or only from customer's perspective who are supposed to book the rides. Similarly, in a food delivery app, you should know whether you are supposed to design the system from restaurant's perspective also or only from the perspective of customers who are going to order food. So, I suggest that in any system design round, the first thing you should do is to be clear about who your customer is for whom you are designing your system. Now we all know that every system has many parts to it. It is just impossible to consider all the modules of a system in one particular interview. So you should know your interviewer wants to focus on exactly which module of the system. For example, in just food ordering app, are you supposed to consider the part where you're supposed to give the list of the restaurants that are nearby or are you supposed to take care of the delivery of the food? Like are you supposed to detect the geolocation and then see how to deliver the food fastest or are you supposed to see how to suggest the food or the restaurants or how to do the filtering so basically from the start of the interview itself you should be clear with your interviewer that which module of the system are you designing it is very important to know the scale at which your system will be used that is how many customers will be using it later in the interview you will be taking a lot of decisions based on this decisions like which data store to use so capacity estimation also comes under this and once you know that okay i need to store this much data and you know the scale of the system you will be able to decide which db to use and you will wisely be able to define your choices also this is the part where you can ask questions like whether our system is going to be used only in india or whether it will be used globally so you can make decisions like Like whether you will use CDN or not. So understanding the scale of the system is very important, and it helps you take decisions later in the interview. Before moving ahead, let me tell you about the sponsor of the video. Function Up runs advanced coding placement boot camp where hundred percent placement is assured. Function Up will get you placed at up to forty lakhs package in just four months. Also, you need to pay nothing until you land one of the best tech jobs. While Function Up has a hundred percent record so far in placements, forty percent of their students got placed in US, UK, and Singapore-based companies in last one year. You also get one-on-one -on -one mentorship from industry experts working at Microsoft, Goldman Sachs, Paytm, and tons of IIT alumni. You get trained on real-world projects and build your own Flipkart, Quora, or Bitcoin company. Also, interestingly, they give fifty percent scholarships for all women candidates. Check out Function Up using the link in the description. If you know Capturem, then you know that if you're supporting partition tolerance, you can give preference to only one of the two, that is consistency or availability. So for some systems, it is very evident from the starting itself that okay, if this is a system for which we should always be available, or this is a system which should always be consistent. For example, in a banking system or any system that deals with money, consistency is of utmost importance. And for some systems, availability is of utmost importance. So from the system itself, you can understand. But it is better to always discuss the same with your interviewer. Trust me, your interviewer will be impressed that you are thinking of all these points from the starting itself, and you are taking your decisions. Based on these points. For example, later while thinking of the database, you can say that we had discussed earlier that availability or consistency is more important, and that is why I am taking the decision of using this sort of DB or this is how I am taking care of resiliency because uh, we had earlier taken the decision that we are going to give more preference to consistency or availability. Now that you know the scale of your system and you know whether you should think of consistency or availability, the next thing that we can think of is the sequence of events. Let me explain this more. 
in any application there are a sequence of events that happen like in a food delivery app once you open the application you get a list of restaurants they can be filtering happening based on geolocation and then you select some particular food you add it to the cart then payment process happens after which a delivery guy is assigned to you and your food is being prepared and delivered and stuff like that right but also remember that you know exactly which module you are designing so you can talk about the entire sequence of events that happen but deep dive into the module that you are supposed to design and talk about the events that are going to happen in that particular module like for example in the food delivery app you are supposed to take care only of the delivery part so you are supposed to talk about sequence of events like when the delivery guy is going to be assigned how it is going to be chosen or when your food is going to be start being prepared when it is going to be marked as delivered so sequence of events of that particular module you should focus on once you know the exact sequence of events that are going to happen in your system you can talk about the apis that you are going to design so a lot of interviewers expect you to design the apis in very very detail like write the exact request that is going to be sent write the exact response that you are going to receive who is going to send the request and who is going to fulfill it this part of the system design round is called api design and for some interviewers it is extremely extremely important Now did you know that exactly which APIs are supposed to design you can talk about the microservices that are going to be there which particular microservice is going to take care of which responsibility and now you can be more precise and say that okay this particular microservice is going to fulfill this particular API now this is the part of the interview when you can draw your boxes and say okay these are the microservices request is coming like this it will go to load balancer and then it will go to one of these microservices and this is how the request will be fulfilled Now that you know your APIs you know your microservices the next question that can come up is how the communication is going to happen you might need to pull some data or some data might need to be sent from server to your client when the data is sent from client to server it's very easy you can use http or https but when data has to be sent from server to client you might need to use web sockets or something like that so this is the time when your interviewer can ask you or when you should discuss how the communication will happen between the client and your server a lot of times the web sockets part gets a bit tricky and a lot of interviewers focus on how the communication is going to happen from server to client now that you know which exact apis are you designing and which microservices are going to fulfill it you can talk about the exact data that you are going to need in your system Once you know the exact data that you're dealing with in your system you should definitely talk about the data flow or maybe talk about this microservice will be aware of this data while this microservice will not be aware of this data so you can talk about data flow properly and in your diagram also you can mention it so this is very important part for some of the interviews Now this is the obvious part you already know what all data are you dealing with you already know how the data flow is happening so now you obviously need to talk about how your data is going to be stored which kind of db are you going to use sql no sql and you have to give enough justifications and it should be fairly easy for you if you have already done capacity estimation you know that okay this is the amount of data that i need to store also if you have talked about uh, consistency versus availability you already know whether you are optimizing for read or write and while choosing the db you can think about all of these points and you can talk about all of these points so choosing your db becomes very very easy for you because you have already discussed all the prerequisites for choosing db the next discussion is also very obvious once you have talked about the kind of data store that you are using you need to talk about how you are going to scale it are you going to be doing vertical scaling or horizontal scaling how are you going to make sure that you can serve the capacity that you have estimate Most of the systems deal with a lot of data and you definitely need to consider caching and sharding. This is where you can talk about CDN and make decisions like you are going to keep a separate DB for different countries like for Indian customers they are going to be there is going to be a separate DB for US customers there is going to be a separate DB. Now there can be cross questions like suppose US customer wants to book a cab or order food in India what happens there so you need to talk about these things and also considering sharding is extremely important for example if we are dealing with a SQL DB we all know that it is extremely hard to scale up SQL DB so maybe you can shard it based on some unique ID so depending on your system you should also discuss based on which unique ID are you going to shard your system this is where consistent sharding will also come in picture 
Another important thing that you need to talk about is resiliency. Say one of your microservices goes down or one of your DB stores goes down. What are you going to do? Are you using master slave architecture? Are you using peer to peer? How are you going to make sure that your data is not lost or are you consistent or available? So you need to talk about resiliency over here. The next few points that we are going to discuss are ignored by a lot of people in system design interviews and a lot of interviewers can give importance to these. So I would suggest to at least mention them or quickly discuss these points to make sure that you are talking about all the things that your interviewer was looking forward to. Health checks are a very important part of any real system. You might be sending a heartbeat or there might be a different mechanism, but you need to make sure that, okay, all your microservices are running or all your DB stores are active. So you need to do health check to make sure your entire system is fine. I personally never talked about this in interviews and I remember in one of my recent interviews, interviewer went like, why haven't you talked about logging and monitoring? So I would really suggest you to at least mention it. Maybe you can have a separate logger and monitor service. So you need to talk about how the data is going to be passed to logger and monitor and how you're going to store it or how you're going to pass it on for analyzing. Now we know that communicating in HTTP or HTTPS comes with an overhead, right? But when two microservices are only talking within themselves and you're not sending any very sensitive data like sending just the name of the user or just the address of the user and you know that you're talking only between the microservices, maybe you can choose that using HTTPS is an overkill or maybe you don't even send data over HTTP. You can send the binary data itself from one microservice to the other. So I would really suggest to at least talk about this with your interviewer. Sometimes we just presume that since this is a high level system design round, we will not be talking about data structure or algos that we are going to be using. But some interviewers might expect you to talk about just one algo or something like that if they are concentrating on a very small module. For example, suppose an interviewer is talking about uh, delivering based on geolocation. So maybe your interviewer might expect you to talk about the algorithm that you're going to use to make sure that the delivery happens fastest. So again, you need to communicate with your interviewer and make sure that if he or she is expecting you to talk about an algorithm or data structures that you're going to use, you should talk about them. So this was the list of questions that I referred to and that worked for me. If you are experienced and if you think I have missed any point, please do mention it in the comments. I am sure it will help others. And if you have any doubts, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. I would love to answer all the questions. I'm going to be talking a lot about system design on my uh, channel now. So hearing your feedback will be really helpful. I really hope the video was helpful. And from now on, you will have more structured HLD interviews and you will be driving your interviews. Do let me know your experiences in the comments and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It will mean so much to me. Thank you.